Western democracies need a new deal. Having dismissed their poverty as a personality defect and their zero-hour contracts as efficiency gains, the deep establishment is looking on in despair as a nationalist international triumphs. Two are its handmaidens. Involuntary underemployment, the bitter price of austerity, and involuntary migration, the bitter fruit of concentrating decent jobs in small areas. People do not move to London because of the theatre scene or to Britain because of the weather. They move because they must. Neither globalization nor electrified border fences can fix this. It is delusional to believe that Britain or America can prosper sustainably when neighboring nations are in crisis. The cure is decent jobs with a right to a living wage, healthcare, education and social housing in people's own communities. This is why we need a new deal on both sides of the Atlantic. A new Bretton Woods that conceives of investment in people's communities in the same way that the Green Movement conceives of climate change. A joint responsibility of a species whose interests are intertwined. We also need to establish a right to universal basic income. Fear of machines that can liberate us from drudgery is a sign of a timid and divided society. The Luddites are amongst the most misunderstood historical agents. Their vandalism of machinery was not a protest against automation. It was against social arrangements that deprived them of life prospects in the face of technological innovation. Our societies must embrace the rise of the machines, but ensure that they contribute to shared prosperity. Every citizen must be granted property rights over part of the wealth that the machines produce. We need to establish a universal basic income to be funded from the returns of capital, not tax. It's what I call a universal basic dividend. This will allow us to spread the returns from automation to the whole of society.